welcome to View from the Grandstand. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Justin Pora. If you're a returning listener to the podcast, you've heard me discuss the lack of excitement on the sports calendar in February. The primary reason this is true is because this month symbolizes the end of the football season, which goes hand in hand with the decreased engagement in what goes on in American sports. It is not a hot take that football is the most popular sport in the country, but it feels like we may have reached a point where our sports community has become a little too football-centric. According to Barrett Sports Media, industry professionals ranked Fox Sports' The Herd, hosted by Colin Cowherd with Joy Taylor, as the number one national sports radio show of 2020. It's the fifth time the show has earned the distinction of number one in the last six years, and it is a show that is dominated by football conversation. In fact, with the Dan Patrick Show and the Pat McAfee Show coming in at 2 and 3, all of the top three sports talk radio shows are primarily dominated by football talk. Cowherd even admitted this week on his podcast that he made the decision to make his show, which airs three hours a day, five days a week, all year long, 60% NFL, 20% college football, and only 20% basketball. He says the reason for this is because the sports that do not have such widespread appeal have specific platforms where their fans can get their fix, including NHL and MLB Network. But NFL Network also exists, so the question remains, why is football still the king of conversation? Looking at the television numbers, the comparison isn't even close. I've mentioned before that 33 of the top 50 TV broadcasts of 2020 were NFL games, The only other sporting event to crack the top 50? The college football national championship game. The NBA is considered the second biggest pro sports league behind the NFL, and the ratings of the 2020 NBA Finals were down over 50% from the year before. And at this point in time, where we haven't had an NFL game in over 10 days and won't have another one until September, Shows like The Herd, Dan Patrick, and Pat McAfee still open their broadcasts with football topics. The football fix in the United States cannot be understated. Fans only get the opportunity to watch their team play only 16 to 20 times a year, which gives the everlasting feeling of craving more. The product on the field is nothing like you see in other sports. No feeling that it's too long or too boring or too violent, or too outspoken, or too expensive, or too overwhelming. Relative to any other sport in the United States, football is the number one ticket, and it's all we want to talk about. So if you're a fan of sports talk radio, I want you to pay attention to which topics get discussed over the next couple of weeks. The NBA All-Star break is in the beginning of March, MLB Spring Training is getting underway, March Madness only one month away from the day of this publication. As for football, the next big event is the NFL Draft on April 29th. Let's see how much the latter gets talked as opposed to the former. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next week.